this is a uh, uh, friction five. We want to deal with a body sliding down an inclined plane in terms of energy only. In terms of energy, we have three forms of energy here, which we can relate in terms of work done. So we can talk about the work done by gravity, which is a MGH. We can talk about kinetic energy, and we can talk about the work done as a result of frictional force. So let us go into the work. Now, at the initial position here, uh, kinetic energy, of course, is zero. Okay? At the final position here, potential energy is zero. Okay? But uh, according to conservation of energy, we have change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy is equal to zero. That is, in the absence of friction, this equation is correct. In the presence of friction, we have HK plus HP, let me use P, is equal to negative work done by frictional force. Change in K means K2 minus K1 plus P2 minus P1, which is equal to minus FL. Minus FL. Our K2 here, that is the kinetic energy here, half MV square minus, of course, initial is zero. So I have plus potential energy 2 here is zero minus initial, which is MGH. MGH is equal to negative FL. Okay, so what is going to happen now? Um, I can take this one here. So I have half mv square is equal to mgh minus fl. If I multiply through by 2, I have mv square 2mgh minus 2fl. And that will give me my v square to be 2mgh minus 2fl over m. Okay. So in this regard now, in most cases, you are always asked to find the final speed or final velocity as the case may be. But in this case, let me use final speed to avoid unnecessary confusion. So this is V2, which is the final speed. Of course, our V now, let me write it here. So our V here is now equal to square root, okay? 2 over M, open bracket, M g h minus f l yes minus f l that is just the square root of that let me put my value as usual i'll put my value don't forget um at the end of the friction series i'm going to come out with a past question on jam work and then uh, any other allied examinations so let me put my normal value uh let my mass again to be Let's let mass to be 50 kg, G to be 10, H to be 10, F to be, I mean, maybe 200 Newton, H meter, meter per second square, and length to be. Why not? Okay, let me make my... Let me make my force to be 20. My applied, okay, this is frictional force, not applied force, please. Frictional force, not applied force, please. Frictional force. So let it be 20 Newton. Let it be 20 Newton. Or 2 Newton is even better. 2 Newton. So and the length, maybe 100 Newton, 100 meter. Okay. Putting all this value now, let me clean this. Let me clean this. All right. What's the formula? 
the formula is v is equal to square root 2 over m open bracket mgh minus ff don't forget this f is frictional force so i have square root 2 over 50 open bracket m 50 times 10 times 10 again minus frictional force which is 2, two newton times 100 this will give me square root 2 over 50 500 5000 minus 200 so this will give me this is a uh, 5,000 minus 200, that is 4,800 square root 2 over 50 multiplied by 4,800. This will cancel this. Alright, so when I multiply 2 by 8, I have 16. I have 16. 6 remainder 1, that is 96 over 5. Huh? Meta. In, with square root then meter per seconds when you get your calculator you can then do what you can then find the square root of 96 over 5 whatever value it gives you that will give you the correct answer this video again is from tutorpedia tutorial center and we are located at Agbowo, very close to university of Ibadan. please always remember that uh, subscription is very important just press that subscribe you press it and you have um you'll be uh noted whenever i have my new video thank you so much for watching the video